Well, Better Call Saul just went off. Um, episode 6, Season 3, titled Off Brand. And unlike last week, which was pretty much focused on Jimmy Saul um, versus Chuck, this one bounced around a bit. Had a little bit of everybody. Um, of course, Hector Salamanca proves he's still a boss without having to um, work too much to show it. Um, gets Nacho to beat up some money from the past or from the future, I guess. Maybe Crazy Eight. Um, also shown that Hector has some health problems going on, hacking and coughing and stuff, so um, we know where he's going to be in Breaking Bad in the wheelchair after a stroke, or I guess, it's, I think it was a stroke. Um, taking some medicine, which gets covered up a little bit. Um, he's, a, he's a nasty character, but I enjoy watching him while he's still fit and able to do things. He's pretty interesting to me. Um, he was an interesting character in the wheelchair in Breaking Bad. But seeing him get around, talk, do things, put pressure on people. Um, <clears throat> it's enjoyable. Everybody seems to be putting on a pretty good uh, performance, I would say. Um, you know, they finish up with the trial. The last little bit with Kim um, talking, uh, representing um, Jimmy. And she's been a really good character, really good actress, written well. Um, it's been enjoyable to watch her. <coughs> um, I was having a strong woman, strong female character on the show. Um, just as tough as any guy out there, it seems like. Um, hopefully they'll keep her around for the rest of the show. Um, She's pretty helpful, pretty handy to have in a bind. She's really helped um, Jimmy out quite a bit on the show. Um, look forward to seeing where her character develops. <clears throat> um, fitting in with that, um, of course this is going to have spoilers in it. Let me just say that. Um, Rebecca comes in and kind of asks for help with help from Jimmy. Dealing with Chuck, who's kind of distraught over what happened at the trial, at the hearing. Um, Hamlin brings over some scotch. Chuck's depressed. It's that electricity thing. Who knows if he's, um, who knows what's going on in Chuck's head. He's had a lot of issues going on since, for a while now. We'll just say for a while. I don't know, he's a great actor. Hopefully I can manage to keep him around a bit. I'm not sure how they're going to work him in the upcoming episodes or upcoming seasons. But hopefully they'll have some use for him because a great actor. Um, plays part well. And hopefully he'll, get, hopefully he'll be able to stick around for a bit. Um, dealing with uh, Gus pain dealing with the extra drug responsibilities coming from Hector but seems they'll be dealing with it somehow and they scattered out a location that shows up in Breaking Bad um, laundromat and they had another cameo every week now they're having some sort of cameo it's crazy um, still makes sense the cameos generally aren't overbearing. I mean, some people have to have prominent roles, Hector and a few other people. But, um, so interesting to see who pops up, how they pop up, how they're used. Um, a lot of the people have only been brief cameos, which helps keep it in the same world as Breaking Bad. Um, see where they developed where they kind of came from maybe a little bit 
which is exciting. Um, I don't know. It ended up with saw, uh, Jimmy selling his commercial time to people since he can't really have commercials as a lawyer in it for a year. He's got suspended for about a year. Exactly a year. So he's trying to make the money back up that he spent on commercials with making commercials for people quick and easy and the Saul Goodman character is born with within this um, new method of making money for himself which will be interesting um, going forward uh, I'm guessing it takes off pretty well since that's where he ends up from Breaking Bad as Saul Goodman <clears throat> leaves the whole Jimmy character behind or himself behind to become Saul um, so if this is how it ends up being, that's a nice little twist. Didn't quite see that um, coming, but it'll be good. Show's really been excellent for me this season, and looking forward to seeing where it goes from here. Next week is titled Expenses, so I'm sure that's the only continuation from this with making enough money to keep Francesca on keeping their office open and everything. But I'm going to call it here. I'll see you on the next time.